welcome to our Eucharist on St George's Day, the patron saint of England and quite a few other countries, Russia, Greece. A martyr in the early part of the life of the Christian church in about the year 304. His patronage came over here very early on, before the Norman conquest, and it's no doubt remembered as the one who slew the dragon. It's also the patron saint of the scouts and the guides, so it's very much their day too, so we think of them in our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses and ask for his mercy. We are often slow to follow the example of Christ Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We often fail to be known as Christ's disciples, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. We often fail to walk the way of the cross, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Almighty God who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. God of hosts, who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George, that he bore witness to the risen Lord. By his life and by his death, give us the same faith and power of love, that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him in the fullness of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Share in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving in the army gets entangled in everyday affairs. The soldier's aim is to please the enlisting officer. And in the case of an athlete, no one is crowned without competing according to the rules. It is the farmer who does the work, who ought to have the first share of the crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in all things. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. That is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. 
Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure, if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever would become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, if the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own, because you do not belong to the world. But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. For they will do all these things to you on account of my name because they do not know him who sent me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his, for his goodness. We pray for our nation at this time of crisis. Pray for the government, for health officials, for those working in hospitals, for doctors and nurses those who work to ensure we have enough to eat and that essential services are maintained, for those working in the care of the elderly and maintain schools for children whose parents are working, for those struggling with loss of income, those working to keep food banks going. On this day when we think of all those working in the NHS, we commend all of them to you. We pray also for other parts of the world that are affected by the virus. Pray especially for those who have the care of refugees in parts of the world where the health service is not the health service we benefit from here. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. pray for Archbishops Justin and John, our diocesan bishops Paul and Beverly. I think too of all those who work as hospital chaplains at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for scouts and the guides for the Chief Scout Bear Grylls, for all who work within the organisation, for all the young people the organisation serves. We pray for a worldwide movement. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We remember at this time those who are sick. Remember Pat Turnick, Joan Nicholson, Baby Huey, Father Richard Kappa, Avis Court, Eileen McGuire, Karen Stark, Gaynor Robertson, and William Mulholland. 
We pray too for Ada Slater, Max Tobin, Jack Daly, John Crook, Miriam Jones, Ken Bramwell, Stephen and Rani Senevaratni, Avis Port, Russell Bamber, Father Richard Kappa, Samuel Andrews, Pat Mackay, Diane Forshaw, Helen Jones, Father Paul Nina, Tracy Riley and Bobby Edwards. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who are recently departed. Maureen Roderick, Elsie Kelly, Roy Williams, and Bill Cowley. And we think of those whose anniversaries fall at this time. Louisa Ware, Isabella McKinnon, Canon Mark Loved, Alfred Owen, Leslie Warrington, Nora, Nora Gilmer, Flo Singer, Harold Dawson, Trevor Huddleston, George Smith, William Royden, Catherine Pilkington, May Harford, Holford, Gertrude Jackson, Percy Watson, Mabel Keith, Martha Ann Jones, Mary Hardman, Olive Smallwood, John Platt, Walter Charles Reed, Oswald Holmes, Annie Rodwold, and Joyce Wilson. And also we remember, remember Julia Acton, Agnes Gillett, Henry Parry, Joseph Jesse, Wilfred Parker, Florence Parker, Robert Doherty, William Appleton, Harold Pardo and Jenny Pardo. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and may light perpetual shine upon them. So joining our prayers with our Blessed Lady Mary, St. Faith, St. George, and all your saints. We commend ourselves and others to your merciful love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we've been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you, for my peace I pass on to you. <clears throat> to you we come, Father of lights, with angels and saints, where heaven and earth unite. May Jesus meet us in the breaking of the bread. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for following the example of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, your holy martyr, George, shed his blood for the glory of your name. His death reveals your power, made perfect in our human frailty. You chose the weak and make them strong, in bearing witness to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. With joyful hearts we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven, as they praise your glory without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. 
grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy word, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption, as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Faith, St. George, the angels and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with our Blessed Lady, St. Faith, St. George and all the company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. I take this for myself and for all of you, and St Mary's and St Faith's at this time. of Christ keep you in eternal life. Blood of Christ keep you in eternal life.
<coughs> Let us pray. Eternal God, who gave us this holy meal, in which we have celebrated the glory of the cross and the victory of your martyr George, by our communion with Christ, in his saving death and resurrection, give us with all your saints the courage to conquer evil, and so to share the fruit of the tree of life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and love and steadfastness, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.